heads up, guys. Heads up. Move out, move out, move out. Ty, move out of the way, please. All right, dude, we got some water coming. Hang in there, all right? All right, let's go. We need water. Water, water. Watch your back. Watch your You're back. all right, Caleb. We're right here, all right? Medical's with us. Survivor has its fair share of shocking and bizarre moments during its 20-year run. And some of these moments, both the producers and the fans wish weren't aired on screen. Today, we're going to talk about some of these moments. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the most awkward, bizarre, and shocking scenes of the Survivor show that should not have happened on air. So who had a meltdown on the show? Stay with us till the end to find out. Number 5. Cyclone Evacuation to start off our list, we have one of the scariest moments in the history of Survivor. In the first episode of Season 33, Millennials vs. Gen X, we saw the first time players had to be evacuated from the set of Survivor. The castaways were evacuated because of a Fijian cyclone that surely would have injured, at the very least, several players. During the first night, there was a miserable monsoon that resulted in rain pouring down on the Survivors all night, and the Millennials didn't have a proper shelter so they were soaking wet by morning. This could have resulted in a lot of players catching a cold and severe fever. The same was expected the next night, but Jeff came to both the camps to tell them that they would be evacuated because of the storm. The damage was shown the next morning, and on the Gen X camp, a tree had actually crashed onto their shelter. Several contestants surely would have been injured had they not been evacuated. This was one of the scariest situations to ever appear on Survivor, as the storm could have resulted in serious injuries if the producers had not decided to evacuate the players. The trees down. Yes, that definitely. Good. We would have been totally hurt. On day three, we came back to the camp after the cyclone passed, and everything was knocked over, and a tree actually did fall onto our shelter. So we're just like, oh my God, this alarming, it's scary. It's like, now you're talking about our lives and someone getting injured from a tree falling down. So it was good that we were evacuated, and that was definitely a saving grace that Jeff made that decision to do. Number four, Russell passing out during a challenge. If you're thinking we're talking about Russell Hans, you're wrong, because he remained absolutely fine throughout the season. There was actually two Russells on Samoa, with the other one being Russell Swan, who was a part of the Galu tribe. Russell was elected the tribe leader of Galu on day one and had his team off to a great start. They were going pretty strong and had only lost one immunity challenge in the 15 days he was the tribe leader and voted off one team member as a result. Before the challenge, the tribe had to survive a rainstorm. With most of the tribesmen huddled to protect themselves from the rain, Russell thought it'd be better to get work done which proved to be a big mistake. Russell was one of the blindfolded players for Galu in that challenge, and part of his duties was to help move a large puzzle table around while the caller navigated. Russell ended up passing out onto the table, and at first, no one really knew what to think. The tribe mates sitting out hollered at him to get him off the table, but it was in that moment that the host noticed that there was something wrong and put a stop to the challenge. It turned out Russell's increased workload had caused his heart rate to plunge and it was almost fatal for the leader of Galu. This was one of the scariest med situations to ever occur on Survivor. Right down! John up! The ball is right in the middle of the Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Stop moving! Stop moving! Russell, get off the table! Russell, get off the table! I want the ball to come Russell. to your ball. Have to go down Whoa! Russell, are you with me? No. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Everybody hold up. Medical. Medical. Number three, Michael falling into the fire. One of the first moments in the history of Survivor that showed fans how serious the show could get was during season two. On day 17, Michael fell straight into the fire and had to be medically evacuated from the game. He was the first player ever to be medically evacuated and watching the situation unfold on television was terrifying. Michael was tending to the fire and inhaled some smoke, causing him to pass out into the fire. His hands were severely burned, and it was obvious that he was in a great deal of pain. His terrifying screams still haunt the fans of the show. Oh. Look at these things. Oh, oh keep my. Into the oh, water. my God. I can't decide whether oh I should God. keep trying to bend them or not. No, but don't, don't, don't. Turn no, my, no, my no. Think. Just hang on. Now don't Just get in there. Don't get out in the deep in case you pass out. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. nervous. It's gonna go. Oh, oh. Say, just keep 
It keeps intense. I know. Number two, Caleb's medical evacuation. Another scary evacuation was during season 32 when Caleb Reynolds went down, things really got scary. The challenge consisted of the contestants getting themselves under a log and then digging for three sandbags. This part of the challenge proved absolutely difficult as it was an extremely hot day. During the challenge, Caleb was passing in and out of consciousness as medical staff got fluids into him and tried to help him as best they could. The contestant was suffering from heat stroke and it got so severe that he had to be evacuated from the game. Temperature. Do you need medical? Yeah, I'd like to just yeah. keep an eye on it. Yeah, he needs medical. He needs medical. We take a look at Caleb, too. Uh, heads up, guys. Heads up. Move out, move out, move out. Ty, move out of the way, please. All right, dude, we got some water coming. Hang in there, all right? All right, let's go. We need water. Water, water. What's your back? What's You're your back? all right, Caleb. We're right here, all right? Medical's with us. Number one, Brandon's freak out. Probably the most bizarre and awkward situation to occur on Survivor was during season 26 when Brandon Hans had a complete meltdown. Brandon originally played on South Pacific and was Russell Hans's nephew. There had been a bit of a tiff between Brandon and fellow tribe mate Philip Shepard since day one. Brandon didn't like Philip and thought he was a bully, so he called him out for it. The situation got really ugly and scary, but Jeff was somehow successful in calming him down before he could do something serious. Over here, decides to make this little Stealth R Us is the name, gives everybody a cartoon name, degrading us, making us feel like we're freaking plastic dolls. I'm not down for that. And Philip speaks so highly of himself. Stop talking about yourself. Boston Rob took you to the end of the game. You didn't do anything. You were made fun of. And you come here and you tell me, don't bite the hand that feeds you. I feed myself. Click on one of the four videos on your screen right now, and we'll see you guys in the next one.